Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. This is not a challenge run. The only challenge here, as I pick Kane, is uh, to not cough and sneeze my way through the next half hour, because I have been recovering from a little bit of a sickness here. Yeah, it's weird because the Isaac timeline is always different than the timeline on my other series, because usually I have a, a more substantial backlog in Isaac, so this might be going up. Who knows, maybe by the time this goes up, I'm actually 100% fine, but you know, weep for me two weeks ago, as the case might be. In any case, I think I'm gonna be okay, just a little bit stuffed up. I'm not dying of a bubonic plague or anything. People always make jokes about the bubonic plague, man. That shit probably killed off, like, the world population would be like 30% higher today if the bubonic plague didn't exist. All right, we're gonna start. This is chemical peel, correct? I always get confused between Ipecac and chemical peel. It's Ipecac. Okay, well, it's gonna be an exciting run, and hey, how fitting that I get the item that makes you throw up on the run where I just bitched incessantly about this very minor cold that I have. So I'm just blowing up some rocks because I think the secret room is going to be nearby. It's not. Uh, so maybe it's on the other side here? At, least, at the very least, you might as well take a look for it uh, at every available opportunity. Uh, yeah, this should be interesting. I love Ipecac. Uh, this is one of the items that uh, in my top 10 list. By the way, thank you guys for supporting that. That was awesome. Let's take these pills. Pill number one, bombs are key. I uh, kind of don't like that. Pill number two. Tears up, fantastic. Um, yeah, on the top 10 list, again, thank you guys for supporting that. That was a lot of fun to make. Uh, and I'm looking forward to making more top 10s in the future. Potentially even, uh, you know, now that I'm capable of doing... Oh, there's our uh, secret room. Second secret room. Uh, but yeah, potentially now that I'm able to do some actual voice work as opposed to just, again, coughing and sputtering my way through things. But this is... Ipecac's one of those items where people were like, why is an Ipecac on the list? Ipecac could potentially be, you know, a top 10 item in the Binding of Isaac. You're not wrong, but you're not 100% right either. Ipecac is one of those items... Which, you know, if I did a top 25 items in the Binding of Isaac, I could see Ipecac finding a way onto that list. It's not that Ipecac is necessarily bad, uh, but it's sometimes not great because of the interactions that it has with other items. Let's take this pill. Range up. Good pills so far. I guess I am playing as Kane, so I can be less worried about uh, bad pills showing up. Uh, again, somewhat fitting, but this being the sick boy run, but in any case, let's continue onwards here. Uh, we've, we've gotten pretty lucky on that respect so far, but yeah, if I was doing top 25 items in Isaac, I would probably find it in my heart to, to throw Ipecac on there. There's obviously, like, D6 and Nun's Habit would make it on, too. Apart from that, I'd have to do some more, uh, thinking in order to determine exactly what that I left off would actually qualify. There's a decent number of items, though. A lot of people got bent out of shape. They're like, man, how can Northern Lion like Mom's Knife so much? It's not even that good. You're more likely to hurt yourself than you are to hurt the enemies. Oh, ye of little faith. A little bit of practice, Mom's knife becomes truly majestic. Anyway, we are going to open this golden chest because I don't give a fuck about anything. Uh, it sadly just contained half of a red heart, which is totally worthless for us. Uh, we got nothing in there, even though I thought it was going to be the secret room. I've been ha oh, it was so silly. I've been having terrible luck with uh, secret rooms lately. I'm not sure what's up with that. I don't think there's been a recent update to the game. More likely, there's been a recent downgrade to my brain, potentially, which has caused... Uh, the weird interactions between, or my expectations, and the actual game's, you know, reality. Anyway, let's just blow some of this stuff up, shoot the fire, obviously I want to extinguish that as quickly as possible. Killing that spider is, uh, priority number two, I guess. And with so many keys, it might be in our best interest to visit the shop. How did that spider get out of there? I thought they were trapped in there. Well, I should definitely try to get some HP soon, if possible as well. Tons of red chests. Red chest number one, double spiders. Now zero spiders. Red chest number two. Halo of Flies. Could be better, could be worse. Uh, could be a lot better, but I guess indeed could be a lot worse if we're being 100% fair here. There we go, we are now up to 15 cents, which means the shop is an absolute viability. Should still keep looking for secret rooms, just in case, you never know. Second secret room can sometimes contain eternal hearts and stuff of that ilk. And well, there it is right there. Uh, so we'll just have our flies take out these spiders. They didn't actually kill themselves. And in here we find Judas Tongue, which is absolutely worthwhile. Curved Horn. I always get shit for the trinkets, man. Is Curved Horn speed up or damage up? I think it's speed up. I'm interested to see here how uh, Little Chub and Ipecac interact. Like, does this even work? Yeah, okay, it does. It's a weird item to get, uh, but it's not like we have any choice in the matter. We don't have any D6 in play, so we might as well just roll with this, I guess. And we might as well check out our secret room, or sorry, our mob trap room as well. We've already checked out our secret room. And I should go to the shop as well. There's a lot of things on the table right now. Free pill, uh, I think that's probably worth it again since we're Kane. What's the worst it could be? A decent stats upgrade? So, let's just have our flies continue doing our dirty work for us apparently. Being that we're only on the cellar part 2, I'm expecting a fairly easy mob trap room here. And the case is indeed true. Our pill is health up. 
telepills into the secret room. What did I leave back there? It's the Empress card, if I remember correctly. So, Empress card, no big deal. Instead, we're just gonna go to the right here and check out our shop, which will hopefully contain something awesome. It sort of does in the form of... Form of an ice treasure map! You guys like the Super Friends or the Wonder Twins? We used to watch the Super Friends, like the 80s TV show. It might be 60s, I don't want to be dating myself unnecessarily here. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, like, basically Justice League TV show with Batman, Superman, and the Wonder Twins. It was always great, because Superman is like, I'm gonna fly around the world and, you know, punch God in the face. And Batman's like, hey, I'm gonna solve, like, this crazy disease with my brilliant smarts and gadget skills. No deal with the devil there, sadly. And the Wonder Twins were like, well, we'll turn into an animal, any animal under the face of the sun, and anything that could is made of water. So it would always be like, Wonder Twin powers activate, form of a bucket of water. And then Jaina, the girl, would be like, form of a pelican. And then the pelican would just carry the bucket of water like in its hands, or an eagle would carry. Ah, I guess we have to take this for now. Anyway, what I'm getting at is the Wonder Twins are a silly, silly superhero combination, and that's maybe why I kind of like them, actually. Okay, that was terrible damage to take. I've lost my spirit heart already, but hey, Dad's key, right? We can use that to do something, like trading in it immediately for I'm firing my laser. Uh, not really a great item, because I feel like Ipecac is, like, way better than I'm firing my laser on the whole. Uh, but, you know, we can use it occasionally to do things like that, like do one, or damage to one enemy alone. Shaping up to be not a great floor so far. That was a nice little dodge there, considering the matrix of bullets that were coming for me. The John matrix of bullets. Uh, where are we gonna go here? Should still look for the second secret room. I, I shouldn't be so silly. Let's just start shooting some hippocac shots. Ah, there we go. Saves me a lot of time, actually. It's a fortune teller. At the very least, we'll blow it up. Probably should have played it for one cent, but hey, now we've got a little bit of money, which means the shop could potentially become viable. And with this many keys, this many apparently is now two. Um, it's, it's a theoretical possibility for me to go to the shop, and I kind of want to fight Greed if we go to the shop. Uh, because the ability to get the steam sale, or, you know, just a, a nice smattering, a smorgasbord of change, if you will. Which I think is what John Lennon always wanted. Uh, would be excellent for me to get, but in the meantime, you know, we've got the Empress, we're fighting Peep, we've got the laser. Probably not going to use either of those, uh, on this fight. Just because Ipecac is very well suited for a fight against an enemy that spends a lot of his time being stationary. Almost took some damage there. Peep is dead. Cat of Nine Tails might actually be cool with Ipecac. Eh, maybe not. And our deal with the devil is, uh, jeez, Mom's Knife and the Pact. Let's take the Pact. I'm not sure how this actually impacts us with respect to our damage and our other stats, but... Uh, I'm psyched to get those two extra spirit hearts. If we're not gonna get HP upgrades, at the very least I can, I can start amassing some spirit hearts and hopefully aiming for, uh, you know, some kind of for Babylon condition. This is one of the few locations where, uh, I feel like the Shoop the Whoop was actually really useful there. That was, I mean, it's an item, Shoop the Whoop's not horrible, it's just not great either. Um, this is not good. That, that was terrible, actually. My hope was that little Chubby would just blow him up right away. Sadly, it didn't really work that way. Thank you, Chubby! This is surprisingly difficult, actually. I need to get this Shoop the Whooper back as soon as possible. That's my opportunity right there. That's not a great place for us to be. Uh, I did lose almost all of my spirit arts already, so so much for that. But hey, we have the Pact, right? And let's quickly check out our shop. Uh, nothing useful, sadly. Very much hoping that we uh, fought Greed in here. But oh well! That's not good. That was a, a bad floor overall, but now we have the Pact. And uh, I'm firing my laser, which is largely garbage, but... Maybe we'll be able to get rid of that for something more useful in the long term. In any case, having Ipecac in its own right is not that bad. I'm gonna treat you guys to this vignette while I have a sip of my tea to keep my vocal cords hydrated. Far too hot. That tea is far too hot to drink right now. I've, I've been speeding through the game at a pace which I did not expect. Um, that was bad damage to take, but at the same time it also allowed me to do point blank damage. Point blank damage? Whoa! Didn't mean to turn this into a racial thing, but a point blank damage without taking damage myself. Anyway. The train has long since sailed on the relevant aspect of gameplay that that commentary related to. So let's just move onwards up here, shall we? Where I will dodge these guys as quickly as I can. Blow these dudes up and then rinse and repeat up here. Should be able to get... Oh, I thought I could get both at the same time. In quick succession at the very least. Now don't let the fact that you have... Oh, I'm sorry, Judgment. It was an accident. Don't let the fact that you have the map distract you from finding secondary secret rooms which are, uh, you know, viable in their own right. Not always the most useful compared to their more conventional counterparts, but still okay 
Actually, Cat of Nine Tails kind of allowed me to do a crazy fast shot there, which I actually did not like, but it's nice to know that that's an option, I guess. If I move in the same direction that I'm firing Ipecac, nah, I didn't really fire that fast. It fired substantially further, but anyway, here's a free penny. Since we have Ipecac, essentially, we'll just blow that out the other side, check in on the possibility of a secret room using our newfound tactic. Hey, it actually worked! Okay. Maybe it's more relevant than I thought, and we are just going to blow this up because I want money again. We get a key and a bomb. You know what? That's worth it in my mind. Those bombs may come in handy. I should probably start using bombs on those silkworm rooms to give me a, uh, a better chance as opposed to just, you know, standing still and waiting to get hit. Which, you know, largely is not the best defensive strategy that I've ever come up with, I would say. Standing still and getting hit uh, largely tends to have negative consequences. Usually I end up taking damage when I get hit, if I remember correctly. A little fuzzy on some of the Isaac game mechanics. Uh, we do have a shop here. I found the secret room by accident, but I was gonna find it anyway due to the map. We find enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Might as well check and see if there's a little extra money in here, just in case. I like how the fire absorbs the bomb. That is some straight up Lovecraftian shit. Good, we're fighting greed. Let's get it out of the way for now. I mean, obviously, we could fight him more than once, but free money means we have a good opportunity. You know, if we could get the, the nail, or not the nail, the uh, battery... 9 volt or nuns have it up. I wouldn't feel so bad about using uh, the shoop the whoop here. Now just don't ruin the bridges across. Kill the silkworm and then create a good bridge for you to get across because those two uh, spirit hearts are incredibly valuable right now. Now we still have the item room to find too. Uh, we've been very blessed here in a secular way uh, to get lots of keys and uh, I mean the bombs aren't important really but dude, getting the, those keys is super important. Uh, just kill one of them. That's fine by me. Let little chubby do the rest. We'll take the pill, which is... I thought it was tears up, but range up, you know, it's all right in its own right. Just want to make sure I'm taking no risks, so we're gonna fire these coins out the other side of those spike traps. We will obviously check on the secret room. We have this Empress card, you know, maybe we can use that on the, uh, the last boss we have confidence. Or we, we don't... The boss we lose confidence on is maybe the best way to put that. Whether that be, uh, Blue Baby or... You know, something before Blue Baby, shall we say. I, ah, man, I'm taking some awful damage here. That's, you know what, maybe this is good. My range is so high that I find it difficult to hit Gertie unless I move to the other sides of the map and then kind of throw in a gyro ball. There we go. Oh, we actually did get a deal with the devil here. I was hoping that we wouldn't because it would remove the temptation, but now I've got to see. Brimstone and Book of Sin. I'm going to skip over both of those. I, I'm excited by the idea that we have the... Uh, you know, the kind of relevance of an Ipecac... Oh, I'm sorry, Judgment, every time! Force of habit. Uh, but I'm excited by the relevance that we have a, a vomit run when I'm actually sick myself. So we'll take free bombs. Uh, is it better or worse than the laser? That's a very good question. But I'm going to stick with the laser for now because it's been good for me. Ipecac in its own right. And see, the thing is, you might say, you know, take some bombs, start planting them around, use Ipecac, and then when you're ready, just blow up like 12 bombs around a boss. That's not an awful idea, but is a little bit scary to me because uh, Ipecac will move those bombs around possibly into my own face. And since we are dealing with the pink glitch here, I'm just going to have a quick uh, sip of my tea. Now at a slightly more reasonable temperature, I would say, but still, you know, it could do with another floor or two of, uh, of waiting time, I would say. So this is a tricky room, and that's why I'm being a little bit cautious with my uh, movements in it so far. Whatever enemy I kill is fine, just as long as I start simplifying things out a little bit here. Zombie is now gone, and now suddenly the room has become very easy. Now this is a room where I'm, or a floor, where I'm probably going to be doing a lot of backtracking. I, I definitely want to explore everything that the world has to offer me here. I'm just gonna put a bomb here. This seems like a wise decision, considering those guys are getting way too close to me. And actually, like, the range ups that I've gotten have maybe damned me here, because I'm shooting so fucking far that it makes it very difficult for me to actually hit enemies. So a range down would be awesome. I just don't know if it's possible to get one, actually. So we are gonna use the laser instead, and it's gonna work out somewhat for us. If I could only hit him again, fantastic. Indeed, I think I've somehow created an accidental challenge run for myself uh, where enemies that move in a way that makes them very difficult to hit from uh, distant range are going to be almost impossible for me to kill. But hey, that's half the excitement as we get up to episode 424 of the Binding of Isaac at this point. Moon card. Free item room, if I remember correctly. And we are, and this is great because this is our last shop, obviously, on the depths here. Uh, but we aren't going to be fighting greed in the shop, which makes it actually possible for us to pick up a good item in there. Anyway, 
I'm giving up the Empress card for now. We're gonna take the Moon card. The Moon card takes us to the secret room because I'm an idiot and totally did not realize um, what we are actually fighting or what the what the Moon card actually does. I seriously was not effing with you there. I actually thought the Moon card was the secret room, as everyone says. We know, Ryan. We know. You're just kind of an idiot in the Binding of Isaac. Okay, those guys are blown up. We're not doing fantastically so far. I'll just leave that Empress card down there for now because we'll save that potentially for the mom boss fight if I'm not doing so hot once we get there. I don't know. It's still up in the air. Anything could happen. Thank God we got a little chubby now. He actually does give us the potential to hit enemies at short range, although it is a little bit, you know, fly by night. Uh, AKA, I don't know what I'm doing with it and I'm not planning it at all. Those guys are dead though. We've reached a dead end. Perhaps fittingly, uh, so let's make our way over to the left here. Definitely want to visit every item room. I mean, there's very few situations where you don't want to visit every item room. But this is definitely one such situation where we absolutely want to make sure that we hit absolutely everyone uh, that is possible for us. And we have the keys necessary to do it while still going to the shop, so it's okay for me. So, we do have enough keys to open this golden chest as well. Well, we didn't, actually. But we did get judgment, and it's demon judgment. I gotta have a think about this, actually. We are going to use uh, our lasers. I guess there's just certain kinds of enemies uh, where the laser is a, a very effective point uh, of uh, offense for us, or point of attack. This is an interesting situation. Just wait a second. That is sweet. A free damage upgrade uh, and a little bit of extra money. I was really hoping that was going to be a regular form of judgment, considering we have a ton of money but no health. But you can't always get what you want. We might open that golden chest. That's Oh, that was the worst damage. No, that was the worst damage. The first time was at least somewhat understandable. The second time was, uh, incomprehensible. How, or, yeah, how that would happen. Uh, uncomprehendable. Incomprehendable. Whatever. I'll figure it out one of these days. Save the keys for now. Replenish our health a little bit. Uh, might even want to just go fight one of the bosses right now, just to, you know, get it out of the way. Who? How bad could the first boss be, right? We'll... Find out, I guess. Uh, the Empress card can just kind of hang. Ah, we should probably take it just in case. If shit goes super south, uh, this is probably a good idea for us to have. So sure, let's make our way up there. We'll fight the first boss, then we'll back out, find the item rooms. Uh, I'm just doing this. Oh, man, that's. Let's go find this heart up here. I'm doing it just in case this boss ends up being super difficult, because normally this will drop some health as well, so I can replenish my health, go through the rest of the floor, then come back and fight mom. There we go. Now I feel a little bit better about getting involved in this fight. Plus, you never know, maybe we'll get some health that we can uh, use to replenish our health after Demon Judgment totally screws us and doesn't give us anything. But for now, okay, it's Gish! Fantastic! Slow enemies are easier to hit, especially when you're using uh, an item like this, which absolutely at this point requires fairly precise aiming, believe it or not. Okay, every time Gish stands still, that's my time to shine. Especially when it jumps in sequence or in frequency with my actual shots, which is going to make this a very easy boss fight in the long run. Little Gish, good upgrade. And we're not going to get a deal with the Devil Attack, but that's okay. So we'll take Little Gish. We didn't get any extra health, which is kind of disappointing, but that's alright. Now we have a lot of floor left to explore, so let's just go do that. And again, shop. I mean, we could turn a lot of things around here. Two good item rooms and a good shop uh, could potentially make all the difference with our laser. We will just wait until... Oh my god, I effed it up. That's okay, we've got so many bombs that we should be able to make it worthwhile. That was a fairly good start there. Let's try it again. Just put one in here, right in their path, and then drop another Ipecac right behind him. Now little Chubby should be able to do his dirty work here, eventually. Or do I just have to stand right next to this guy? There we go, little Chubby hits him again. You know what? Bombs are made for a reason. There we go. Beautiful. If nothing else, it at least stops him from moving for a little bit, which is kind of worthwhile. Little Chubby, please kill these flies. Thank you. It's remarkable how much you can screw yourself with supposed upgrades in certain situations. Little Chubby, though, definitely being a lifesaver here. If I could just actually aim him appropriately. There's one left. This is a... Normally with Ipecac, this room would take you approximately, I don't know, a second and a half. Uh, this is proving to be the exception to the rule, due perhaps to my own mismanagement. And thankfully we found the secondary secret room. I'm just gonna blow it up, I don't want to waste my time too much. The extra money is not nearly as valuable as the extra spirit hearts would have been, of course, but... I was hoping that maybe it would pay out with some kind of bitchin' trinket, but I guess the trinket isn't even that important. The spirit heart is important. Where are all of our special rooms? This is crazy! This is maybe another, uh... Oh my god. Well, I got one of them at least. 
Uh, I guess all of the special rooms are on the other side of the map, which makes this kind of insane. Can I blow this treasure chest over here? It seems a little heavy. Ah, a little bit more. All right, that'll do. It's gonna give us a little bit of money and an extra key as well. I'm not gonna take all of the money. You know what? With all these keys, now I can afford to get that spirit heart. God damn, we've explored like 70% of the map and still have managed to not discover any of the special rooms so far. That golden chest can S on my D for a little bit because we are gonna move downwards and onwards here. Demon Judgment's still not really in the cards for us. I'm gonna take another sip of my tea because we're gonna make some progress here. Had to go back for seconds. Apologies. That is delicious. Nourishing life juice when you're getting down with the sickness like a disturbed song. Uh, let's see what we've got in our item room. Sad onion. That could be awesome or horrible. Let's see how fast we fire. You know, not that fast. So sad onion, I would say, is basically a wash here. Neither good nor terrible. That was uh, pretty terrible, though. As was that. At least one of these guys is dead. I've lost that spirit heart I paid a key for. Easy come, easy go, I guess. And in our chest here we find two more keys like I said easy come easy come back now just be a little careful oh, god damn a dodging skills not where they need to be it has been like a week since I played Isaac just long enough to make a, a slight difference I think in the, in the quality of my play I say slight because normally I'm pretty bad as well uh, let's just kill this guy and then his friend should fall soon after especially with this gish ability now Nope, still can't get to that treasure chest. Oh my god! The secret rooms, or the special rooms are not here either. I guess we already found one, so I can stop bitching so much. Well, that was a good use of the laser. We're running into some problems here. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, if I could just actually hit these guys and stop sounding like Tom Waits, that would be awesome. So I'm going to take a little break here. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> <clears throat> Apologies for that. Sometimes, uh, you know, 20 years of, of chain smoking just catches up to me. That's a joke, by the way. I don't have anything against chain smokers. I just wonder, man. Somebody might have to use those chains at some point. Maybe you should stop smoking them. Now, we do have that one killed. I would love to not use a bomb here, but I guess I should just get over the fact that I'm going to have to use bombs because bombs are not actually valuable for us uh, in any sense of the word at this point. This is surprisingly difficult to dodge. You might not expect so if you've, you know, played the game yourself. This is a unique case where these guys are a little bit trickier uh, than normal. Anyway, last item room contains piercing shots, which is totally worthless. If we just didn't have Ipecac, Sad Onion plus piercing shots, you know, Cat of Nine Tails might have made for an interesting just regular tier effects run. But, saving grace on this room. We have a lot of money, so first things first, we'll buy the key. We'll buy the heart. We'll buy the spirit heart, and with 57 cents le left, we'll obviously buy the coin purse, which is going to give us two tiers upgrades. No range uh, downgrades, sadly, of course. Uh, telepills and bombs are key. Sure, let's take bombs are key, because we don't really need bombs that much. We'll buy another bomb, just to be safe, in case we run into another difficult room. And, uh, you know what? Why not use telepill? Uh, we shouldn't use telepills. Let's save telepills, and then use it on a later floor to potentially teleport us more quickly to the boss room. Now... With all of uh, my advantages right here, what should I do? I think we still have a good opportunity to beat Mom. Hopefully we pick up either an HP upgrade or like a Renegade Guppy's Paw in the Devil Room. Which will allow me to, uh, you know, turn my frown upside down, get a lot of spirit arts going. And hopefully make some good progress. But I kind of worry about that. Uh, we have a number of keys right now so we can afford to open this. Might as well go down here and check out this golden chest. It's a long walk. Normally I wouldn't do this. But I feel bad for coughing earlier, so we're going to walk all the way back here. Demon Judgment is not going to be too viable for me. Unless this thing contains a number of red hearts, which is probably unlikely. But hey, 15 keys, whatever. Oh my god! Okay, so we got one red heart, which means two plays on the old Demon Judgment fiddle. Probably shouldn't say that. I swear, officer, it's an actual musical instrument. He pays that with a tarot card, which is the world. Probably more valuable than telepills in the long run. You know what? I feel a little lucky. So I played him one more time. He gave us, uh, bombs or key, which is kind of worthless for me, actually, in this situation. But thanks, anyway. I appreciate it. We're going to pick up this extra heart. And, you know, while we're here, why don't we do a little bit more scouting, just in case there's an extra room here with some good stuff in it. There's a champion. If the champion drops a heart, we play more Demon Judgment. Everybody's he dropped a half heart. That's basically the same thing. All right. That was very close. I'm just going to put a regular bomb down here. 
tricked that guy into walking into it. Stupid brain. Now, with this half heart, I the wed. Uh, we're gonna go back, we're gonna take this, we're gonna play Demon Judgment one time. Because who gives a fuck about having full health? I know I don't. This is probably gonna end up biting me in the ass, but I can't resist the gamble to see if we're on the right pages. We have uh, one more. Why not? Alright, fuck you too, Demon Judgment. There's no more health on the way to this boss fight. I really, really thought about going back to Demon Judgment and just like putting all of my hearts into him except for the Spirit Heart and half of a Red Heart. Because, you know, if you gave us Spirit of the Night or something, that would be really valuable and we're probably going to get health on the mom boss fight. Uh, the problem is going to be a situation like this where it's going to be fairly difficult for me to hit mom because I actually have to move backwards to put myself into a position where I can even do damage. And by the time I shoot, it'll actually have just disappeared. So this is a very interesting situation. Uh, I'm going to assume that bombs are going to be very important for me. Or, with Ipecac, can I just shoot at the uh, bodily structures? I don't know, man. This is going to be tricky. I'm just going to keep taking shots at the sides. Maybe we'll get lucky. Gish will do some damage at the very least. Come on, the one time that this boss fight doesn't involve uh, structures constantly pissing me off. You know what we're going to do? That's what we're going to do. Stand next to the wall. And then when she comes down, so we'll have her do this. Then I can just shoot it against the wall and then we're okay. Alright. Are you proud of me? Finally, I've employed a novel strategy. That's worked out surprisingly well so far. I haven't even taken any damage from this fight yet. One more should do it. And wow, that went surprisingly well. I'm a little bit proud of myself, I'm not ashamed to admit. We are going to lose Judas Tongue here. Uh, but let us go down to the next floor. Again, I'm going to take a little tea because my throat is getting tired. Please tell me I got the Polaroid. I did indeed. So let's make our way down here. I have no reason to believe we're going to encounter the boss room down here. However, just clutch dodge there, followed by immediate stupid damage. Twice. <laughs> um... But, yes, uh, this is where our secret room is, so that's primarily why I'm, I'm coming down here. You never know, maybe we can get Epic Fetus or something that would save us from this Ipecac nightmare that I've sadly put myself in. There's a free three kills there, which is very easy. Uh, let's just follow it up with another easy one right here, followed by that. And in our secret room, we have the Onk! Absolutely worth picking up. Might be able to just bomb our way into the boss room if we get lucky, and this is actually the boss room right here. It's not! Uh, but at least it saves us a little bit of time. We can use the secret room as kind of like a hub world. Uh, a, a warp zone, if you will. To make sure we don't have to move as much as normally I would have to. So we'll just wait for this uh, trail to go away. And then we'll make our way down this way instead. Uh, one more this way, and then down. Hopefully down left is where we're gonna go. That pill is range up, I think. But can we just blow it out the other side? If so... Why am I wasting my time? Yeah, we can. Slowly. I guess things have a certain different weight. Probably pick it up safely there. Sure, I'm not taking it. At this point, any range upgrade could potentially mean literally making it impossible to finish the game. So, uh, I'm going to stay away from those for now. And I know some smartass is going to suggest a challenge run like, Hey, do Ipecac with max range and max rate of fire. See what happens. Fuck you, man. It's not fun. This run's turned into a goddamn disaster in front of my very eyes. It started so promising. I guess I can't complain too much, because I mean, hey, here we are, 28 minutes and we are still alive. Both, you know, in the game and in real life, which is something that was up in the air for a little while. Uh, we're gonna go right here, and I'm gonna immediately take damage, because there's no way not to. There is definitely a way not to, I just don't comprehend it. Let's back it up. We are a little bit lower on health than we would like to be. I mean, I'd like to have, you know, 30 or 40 hearts by this point in the game, which is somehow... Not a possibility according to the game's draconian rules. Fuck you, I don't do what you tell me! Now, if I could just dodge these guys effectively. We actually managed to kill one there, which is a progress compared to the last, you know, 12 minutes. Where I've just been firing bombs at the most absorbent walls in history, I guess. They're all made out of bounty paper towels. Uh, no! That was a free bu that was for you! Mom's heart may actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it may actually be super difficult with the kind of run that we've set out for ourselves. Anyway, that thing is dead. We're back to full health. Oh, okay, let's make this room the easiest that it could possibly be. Just put a bomb down here and then kill all five of them and somehow not get caught in the explosion. That was kind of lucky. And again, it's really the, the sweet spot for Ipecac is when you throw... Oh, it's terrible. It's when you, you shoot and the, the shot from the edge of the map lands in the exact center. 
because enemies typically spawn in the exact center. So if you can, you know, shoot and have uh, your bomb land in the exact center, then that's basically uh, a free room for you. Like, this would have been basically a free room, except for the, the Guts guys who are easy enough to kill in their own right. However, sadly, we're not going to be that lucky. Instead, we're going to have to go through bullshit like that. But we are almost done with this first, or first depths floor, I guess, or womb floor. I should probably not make that mistake after 420 something episodes. Uh, and we are only fighting Skolex, which should be easy enough. Especially with explosive damage, he's very easy to hit. We get tears, uh, we get extra spirit hearts. And hopefully the deal with the devil is something amazing. Uh, Guppy's paw for three spirit hearts. What an interesting proposition. I also want to take the nail. Okay, let's think about this. I take this. Does Guppy's Paw really benefit me then? I'm trading three Spirit Hearts and two Red Hearts for six Spirit Hearts. I've gone cross-eyed. Um, we're gonna take it. We're gonna pop it, lock it, and twist it. Okay, I think we're in a better position now. It's a strange position nonetheless. Uh, but certainly I think we're in a better position than we were a second ago. So, uh, down to the next floor. Maybe things are looking up a little bit. It's kind of hard to say. I like this layout. There's not a lot of choice. It's just like, do you want to take... Uh, this straight path or that straight path. We're gonna go with uh, the straight path immediately set out in front of us. Which hopefully I'm not gonna regret. Oh man, having this invincibility after getting hit once feels so nice. I put myself into any position I want. Nobody can say a damn thing. Not you, Silkworm. Not you, anybody. So hopefully, ah, uh, well, you know, it's a curse room. That's pretty terrible. Uh, but, you know, you gotta deal with the cards that you're dealt. I didn't expect to find the boss room so quickly regardless, so uh, I'm still fairly positive in my impressions about how things are going so far. At least kill one of them here for a red heart that I can't use. Of course, now red hearts are going to drop like candy. Just hit that guy with Chubb if possible. I, if not, just have Gish do the dirty work for us then, I guess. That's how that's going to go down. Why don't we check uh, down right now? We'll make kind of like a Z pattern in the middle of our map. Still, there's so many enemies that are just like absolute disasters to deal with uh, with this kind of loadout that I have. That single Hippocac shot was not enough to kill that bomb fly. That's kind of absurd. Especially considering I have the Pact and the Small Rock, which you'd think would increase your damage enough to, to make that happen. Apparently not, though. What do I know? I know that I've got an extra bomb, which is actually surprisingly useful. Previously thought that maybe bombs were going to be totally useless for me, given that I already had Hippocac. How naive I was back then. Uh, again, that actual bomb saved me, uh, probably a little bit of health, a little bit of anguish at the very least in that situation. Chubb's gonna get a good shot in here. Didn't manage to kill anybody, but hey, it's a good start. And we found our secondary secret room. There we go. Speed upgrades, man. That's what I need right now. Second secret room contains two pills. Telepills and... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Luck up. Okay, well, we're gonna roll with the world card, because I think that's better than telepills. Uh, because it could actually save us a lot of hassle on some future floors. Got both lasers killed. Brains are somehow not dead. Because my shots are actually bouncing against the walls, which somehow, believe it or not, is a bad thing. Sometimes explosive damage works, sometimes it doesn't. Range upgrade can go fuck itself as we make our way down to the bottom right here. This is not the boss room. But, this will be an easy kill on this doppelganger. And the nail has been recharged a little bit, which means we haven't lost any health on this floor. A little bit surprising, uh, but I'm, I'm happy to be in the somewhat privileged position that I am right now. I guess if we stand still, the Ipecac shots still land in the middle, so the trick is just, you know, at the very start of a level, just don't move. With 16 keys, two keys for this seems like a good idea, but the bloody penny is totally worthless for us now. Uh, and we have sadly reached yet another dead end, which kind of marks the, or is indicative of how we played this run so far, I might say. Got lucky and managed to kill that thing. Doppelganger should die in two seconds. If I could kill Guts as well, that would be beautiful. Alright. Like so. Fantastic. An extra key! Well, we just spent a couple of those on basically nothing. So let's make our way to the boss room now. It looks like it's going to be a short trek through our secret room. I'm thinking the cathedral is a likelihood, assuming I can actually get in the right range to hit Mom's heart. And beyond that, I'm going to stop having my voice crack like a 15-year-old trying to ask out a girl to the school dance. No offense if you're in that position right now. We've all been there, man. Just hang out for a second. I can do this. I'm stronger than these guys. I'm faster. I'm smarter most of the time. Death card is going to make the next room probably a lot easier. Fuck you, slot machine. Yes, I know it doesn't actually affect the slot machine. I did it for a joke. Fuck me, right? All right. We're going to take the world card. 
And we're gonna use this probably on the cathedral. Usually, uh, that seems like the smartest idea, because then we can obviously uh, just get four items in the chest, one of which may potentially be the compass, you know? It happens. I'm sure it happens. Don't come to me with your odds and your numbers, mister. Anything can happen if you just believe hard enough. Anyway, we're just gonna jam on the right arrow key here. Already, oh my god, did you see the speed at which that first laser bullet came at us? We lost two spirit arts there, but it was an easy boss fight nonetheless. Might as well get this penny, who knows, maybe we'll end up spending 58 cents on a slot machine on the way or something. Uh, and our world card tells us that the boss room is down here, which is cool. It, 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 the route is through the path of the secret room, so it does give us uh, the opportunity to potentially use that. You know what I should be doing? Is just saying, fuck these rooms, and uh, just running away as, fa as fast as I can, rather than actually trying to fight enemies that are going to be a real pain in the ass. Uh, and that's what happens when I try to use a novel strategy like that. Thankfully, we did end up picking up an extra uh, spirit heart as a result. There's an eternal heart. I don't even... I don't want to pick that up. I realize it would give me an extra little bit of health. But I don't want to actually use that. Uh, because it'll screw me up on the chest. And I'm trying to think long term. I am fighting this room. Reason being, I think I can uh, easily... Well, first off, random spirit heart drop. Almost said for the win there, which would have been pretty shitty for me. Because I would have had to kill myself. Uh, but uh, the nail is going to be charged after this as well. Which for me basically means two free spirit hearts as a result of this room. Feels good, man. Mom's Pearl also gives us extra Spirit Heart chance, uh, or extra chance of Spirit Hearts dropping. There's one Spirit Heart gone already. Obviously, we can't bomb our way into the boss room. Overall, I'm fairly pleased with how the floor is gone, surprisingly. But let's uh, learn our lesson, and in the future when we have Ipecac and things become difficult, just run away, basically. There's no dishonor in that. Now, dodging's gonna be an important part of this. I totally failed at it from the get-go, so I just ran up and placed a bomb on it. Uh, but we should be in an... Oh, why is he shooting so fast? I guess when Little Chub hits, he, he hits like a thousand times in a row or something. In a very short spell, he's like 19-year-old Mike Tyson. That was a very close dodge. But, uh, I think we're pretty much gonna be clear for, uh, Isaac here. And, uh, Gish slowing the shots from Isaac make things, makes things a lot easier on myself as well. Alright, that was fairly easy. Now we get four new items in the chest, and let's make some good shit happen here. D20... Uh, HP upgrade. Miter? Okay, well... I don't really like any of these other items. The HP upgrade, I'm gonna say... Well, I mean, I'm not gonna take anything else just for now because it seems kind of worthless. Uh, but the HP upgrade might be useful if I end up losing, like, almost all of my spirit hearts before the boss fight. Lust is so much faster than me. I'm just gonna place down bombs like crazy. Blow up Lust. Okay, now we just have Sloth, which should be easy enough. There we go. Alright, so bad start. We do have the secret room, though. Hopefully it doesn't contain greed. Strength is a good one. Tears up. Sure, why not? Let's see what our secret room contains, and hopefully we find this boss room sooner rather than... Fuck you, greed! Hopefully we find our boss room sooner rather than later. Uh, now we can't... I know I mentioned this a little while ago, but we can't actually use our uh, Ipecac to just bypass these rooms, because that won't work. The doors will not open uh, just to brute force, so sadly, not going to be able to do anything there. That was a much worse room than uh, what we were dealing with before. Suddenly, that extra HP by way of the hearts in the, the chest room doesn't seem so bad. But the miter could still save us here with a few good uh, spirit heart drops. Well, now I'm feeling a little bit scared. That's another range upgrade, which can basically go fuck itself. And I guess that means it's time for us to totally abandon this infinite invincibility idea and pick this up just to give us a little bit of extra chance of survival. So... Not feeling overly confident about our chances here. But at least, you know, we had a fairly good run. Kind of surprising. Given that for a while, I felt like I, I had handicapped myself past the point where I could actually succeed. So a couple more shots in here on Loki. Give me the three Loki room every day, man. I don't need four Loco. I just need three Loki to give me this extra nail charge. And allow me to uh, find, you know, my 55th dead end. Which sadly does not come with extra invincibility, and now we're in a bad spot, so I'm going to pop this strength card. The number of tools that we have to prolong our survival just the slightest bit is too damn high. Oh, luckily there's a limited amount of range on that dude. Run. Run for your life. Okay. It's a dead end, but Miter could still come through. Miter could give you the tools you need to succeed. Or the Magician Tarot card, which is actually surprisingly useful. Not against the boss, because the boss is going to be easy to hit anyway, because he's stationary. But 
Well, we're fucked, aren't we? Yep, I should stop trying to rationalize it. We're basically just done. Is it gonna be this room, or is it uh, gonna be the next room is the real question. It would seem fitting for this run to end to greed. But it's not going to. Gluttony doesn't make any sense. Pestilence, it would be very fitting for this run to end to pestilence as I fight off this little uh, sticky nose that I've got here. Sticky nose is probably not the medical term for it. I knew greed was in there, why did I do that? Maybe a part of me actually wants to die, who knows, man. Daddy Long Legs could end up taking me out here. Just run away and actually I can succeed on this room. Almost just blew my brains out there by accident. No one would have ever believed me. Um, little chub, you you had your chance there, man. Don't let the spiders do it. That's the worst way to go. I forgot we had the onk. Oh my god, everything is okay. This could be all right. <laughs> we could survive this. This could actually happen. I'm I'm surprised. I was the my grief was genuine, like an R and B artist for a while there. But now I'm feeling like anything could happen here. Let's go left and, and check out our options. We have uh, the worst kind of famine, who has thankfully been slowed a little bit, which might actually allow me to do enough damage to put him in permanent head state and then kill him, which is exactly how that shit went down. We got a problem against war, though. War is going to be an issue, because uh, he's going to be way faster than us. So I'll probably end up, yeah, I got hit, but on the bright side, we can just stand still. Oh my god, no, don't let this happen like this. Oh, we got super lucky there, and thank you to the Mitre for that spirit heart. At least I assume it was the Mitre. There's our boss room. We got super slots. Spiders are gonna be an issue. There's no question about that. The more we can regulate the spiders, the better. If we can get the spiders killed by sloth, then that's good too. Uh, and obviously, just accidental collateral damage here as a result of the, uh... We still have oh my god, there's too many spiders, man! Just put a bomb here and let it happen! Let it, nature sort it out. Oh wow, man, with only two spirit hearts, can we do this? Well, better two than one. Hopefully. One more. Don't let him spawn any spiders. Oh my fucking god. Okay, we're only gonna have one spirit heart to make this work. If we even manage to survive the spider apocalypse here at the very end. There we go. Death. What is our other card? The magician? Alright, well death works better than the magician. Let's pop that and hope we don't die immediately. That would be pretty anti- Oh, I forgot he spawns flies. What's a boy to do? Ah, we got killed immediately. But hey, that was fun while it lasted. As always, thank you guys for watching. Apologies for the occasional cough and my sick voice. But in any case, again, thanks for watching. Continue suggesting challenge runs. I'll get back into those. And as always, I will see you next time.